Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the March Fright Crate. I have to be careful with showing this because I can't get the address off the top for some reason. They actually put tape over it. Usually it's just stuck on there, no tape, but you don't care about that. Anyway, uh, March Crate, unfortunately, they're still behind at this point. I don't know if they'll get caught up, but that's not really their fault. That's USPS. I like biting off more than I can chew and then figuring it all out. Jordan Peele. That's a good quote. And that speaks a lot to how he does it as a director, I guess. That he, well, probably a writer as well, just kind of approaching it and being like, I'm just want to do creative stuff and I'll figure out how to do it when I get there. Eh, you know, got to admire that. Probably makes for some real crazy times, but you do what you got to do, right? Okay, so let's get into this. I don't. Because they're behind at this point, like, I can just never remember what the properties are for the items. So, if, I might remember one for this one, but I'm not sure if that's this one or the April one. It might be this one. And if it is this one, I'm pretty excited. Well, let's just go ahead and do the t-shirt first, because it's in there. Okay. Um, they've done this for the shirt before. Um, not, I mean, not this specific movie, but this franchise. So it is Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors, as usual. Oh, my cat's going to play with the paper. Uh, as usual, it looks really good. Max Cave did it, so it looks really good. Um, yeah, Max Cave. Awesome designs. This one looks nice. I like it. Very iconic with the, the needle fingers. People love the needle fingers. Yeah, the, oh man, I just noticed, too. Looking down there, look at the bottom. It's the part where he's like giant and he's like um, swallowing the one girl. Yeah, man. That's good. I like that. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice shirt. I like it. I usually do like their shirts. Okay, next let's do... Oh, it looks like... Feels like they have another one of these resin pieces that is the... Um, calm down over there. <laughs> they have one of these resin pieces that's the uh, magnet... So let's go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this makes sense. I was thinking they might do do this one for this when I remember seeing it. So this one is Pumpkinhead, which doesn't really look that detailed. I guess it's okay. The head looks a little misshapen, unless I'm kind of misremembering what Pumpkinhead looks like. But there you go. Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead. And then... They usually have a, not that this really matters, but the magnet on the back is usually circular. So this time it's not, it's just an observation. Like, doesn't doesn't the head look a little bit flat on the back? I thought, everything's mirrored here, so it's, I thought there was like more of a head sticking out on the back, but might be wrong on that one. It's fine, you know, I, there's not a whole lot of detail, it's fine, it's whatever. Plus... I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like Pumpkinhead all that much. I don't really like Pumpkinhead all that much. I don't think it's that great. Um, whatever. Oh, ooh, this one looks really cool. So this is the pin. I always love the pins, too. Those designs are super great. This is a movie um, I, I've never seen in its entirety, but I do plan to do at some point. And some people will probably be like, oh, man, you haven't? That's Dark Man. The colors on this with the design are really good. Sorry, there you go. Dark Man. Like, the blues to the oranges and yellows, like, that's, just coloration-wise, that looks really good. Obviously, it's Dark Man. Liam Neeson in this film, a lot of people forget about that, it was Liam Neeson. Yeah, that looks really cool. I really like that. Like I said, they usually do a good job on their pins. Oh, it looks like there's a, oh. Oh, this is cool. I don't do patches. So, there's a patch in here. I don't do patches. I, I never have any use, so... I might try and find someone who has a use for this, but this is a good patch. It looks good. Um, Creature from the Black Lagoon. That's cool. And it says, sorry, I'm covering. Swim. It looks good. I mean, for a patch, it looks good. I just don't have a need for patches, honestly. Okay, now the big resin piece. What in the... Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Okay, I forgot that this... This is hard to get out of there. I forgot that this franchise was in in this box. And, oh, my gosh, this resin piece is so good. Oh! 
Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and show you now. Hellraiser. I love Hellraiser. It's Chatterer. Oh, man. Look at this. Chatterer Cenobite. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Obviously, it's just, you know, flat black on the back. But, like, look at the... There's some really nice detail to it. It looks really good. The chains down here. I love the chains. That's, like, a little extra. The sculpting on this is really nice. The painting is really well done as well. Um, I love... I mean, people... People who love Hellraiser love the Chatterer. After actual Pinhead, who's actually not called Pinhead because the books, he's just Hell Priest. Um, it's just a moniker that caught on. Uh, most people like Chatterer most after Pinhead, so I am like those people. Uh, I was... What do I want to say? Oh my god, I'm sorry, you guys. I just got done working, so it's just like, ugh. Uh, I was lucky enough to have actually met Nicholas Vince, the guy who's played Chatterer the entire time Chatterer, well, I think the entire time Chatterer has been around in films. And I actually have one of my favorite signed things from conventions. I have it way back up there. I'll have to show people at some point all my signed stuff, but it's a picture of all the Cenobites from, I think, the second one and signed by all of them. So, obviously, he's included. I actually also have his pop figure the chatter pop figure and Nicholas Vince, really nice guy, really nice guy in person. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to meet him, you should meet him because he's super cool. But this is great. I love, love, love this. This is going out on my little display area. And I think I'm running out of space there. So I'm going to have to like knock some pieces into, you know, storage in a sense. So I think Amanda Bierce's character from Fright Night is going to have to go for now. And this is going to be in there. Okay, nice. Oh, I like it. All right, so let me read the little thing. I mean, obviously, I love the shirt. I love that resin piece and the pin. So this is a really good box. I'm very excited. Okay, so the property I was talking about in the beginning that I might know, so that must be the April box. So I'm very excited about the April bo box. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it is, though. Okay, so for March, exclusive Chatterer Bust. He's been through hell and back. This four-inch bust is brought to you by Serial Resin Co. Exclusive only to Fright Crate. And they always do a great job. They really do. Exclusive Nightmare 3 Dream Warriors shirt. Have your sweet dreams with this exclusive shirt designed by our favorite collaborator, Max Cave. My favorite collaborator as well. He does a great job. Exclusive Pumpkin Head Magnet. Another amazing Serial Resin Co. piece. Pumpkin Head is out for blood. Revenge is a bloody lesson. It's okay. Exclusive Vengeance Pin Dark Man from one of our favorite underrated films. This pin is two inches double post soft enamel. Yes. And exclusive Swim Patch Creature from the Black Lagoon. Who wants some swimming lessons? This big high quality patch is made exclusively for Fright Crate. Oh, that's cool. The, that one's exclusive too. It is good. So yeah, overall, as usual, I really do enjoy the boxes. Um... I get the, there's like two levels, there's like 20 and a $30, but then when all's said and done with shipping and taxes and, you know, everything extra, it usually tax on like an extra 10 bucks or so, unfortunately, but I still think it's worth getting it because, I mean, the pin's always good, the resin piece is, is basically all, is almost always good, and the shirt's always good, so, I mean, 40 bucks for all that, yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. I like it. I like it quite a bit. So I'm very, very excited for the April one. Also already bought the May one, so I'm excited for that too. But anyway, would love to hear people's thoughts. What did you think of these items, whether you got the box or you didn't get the box? Also, what would you really love to see them put in these boxes? For me personally, I'd like them to like really dive deep, maybe do like a, and this is going to be a little weird, Larry Cohen's film, Cue the Winged Serpent. I think it'd be kind of cool if they did a resin piece of Cue the Winged Serpent. I think that'd be great. If they did something with Attack the Block, I love that film. If they do a t-shirt for Attack the Block or a resin piece of one of the creatures from Attack the Block, ooh, I would, yeah, I'd be, I'd be done. I, I'd, I'd finish on camera. It, it would be amazing. But anyway, uh, yeah, talked enough. Go ahead and put some comments down here. Let's get nerdy. Do me a quick favor, though. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed and you watch any of my videos, please do me the favor of paying me back and just doing that subscribe. It's painless for you. It costs you nothing. 
uh, and it really does motivate me. It keeps me doing not only these videos, but mainly my review videos, which I do put a lot of time into. So I really would appreciate that. But I really do thank you for taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.